Business Now as part of efforts focused on achieving sustainable solutions beyond protests to Nigeria's energy crisis. Stakeholders including academics, civil society groups and development agencies have unveiled a new research to address such objectives. The proposed study seeks to promote transparency and accountability in the energy sector. Details in this report. Research issues on economic development and recovery have been the major concern of nations across the world. In the face of present global economic crisis, research development remains the tool for national socioeconomic development. According to promoters of this study in focus, the move is a broader study on action for empowerment and accountability research in Mozambique, Egypt, Myanmar, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Nigeria. We are looking at some interesting questions. And what some of the questions we are looking at is, do protests matter? They, do protests work? Under what conditions do protests work? And what are the repertoires of protests that have implications for politics, for public policy, and for the political economy? We are also looking at what we call contentious politics and new forms of social and political action in Africa across and across the world. And whether these new forms of social and political action empower the participants or the constituencies that take part in them. What we seek to understand is whether or not um, on what we call unruly protest, unruly action, uh, produce um, any outcomes in in fragile settings, in settings of violence, and in settings where the state is weak. Uh, ordinarily, when the state is weak, it, it or when the state is not very democratic, they tend to be repressive. And when the state is, rep is repressive, you expect there to be very little outcomes or success. Of, um, of, of citizen protests. Our heads of the research team say the objective is to ensure new social political actions emerge in the demand for accountability and transparency from governments. I feel like we don't need to wait to that point where we need to start protesting because at the end of the day, we're not able to have a grip of those sort of protests. Um, it could turn violent, it could go Anyway, it affects the economy of the country. It affects our individual lives in multiple ways than you can ever imagine. And so being involved in this um, research as someone who works very actively in the extractive industry, um, I believe that people should have a right to information. People need to know what the issues are. This study seeks to examine fuel protests in the last decade by trying to understand the dynamics of mobilization and how they produced results. 